Hi guys, here we have an electric Renault Clio. So this is 2004 year. And this is EV conversion made by EV Evolution. You can see here. Okay, so I'll start to explaining what are all of the parts in this car. So this is the vacuum brake set. So vacuum pump, vacuum tank and vacuum sensor that's underneath connected to the brake cylinder and it the vacuum sensor activates the pump as it needs to activate it so it doesn't work all of the time so it saves electric power and this is the water for heating the cabin so for heating I will show you how it's connected with these pipes to the existing system and here to the heater that we use for heating the cabin inside of the vehicle this is the charger number two so we have two chargers charger number one is in the front side and charger number two is in the back side let's say charger number one is always active when charging and this one is active only when connected to two or three phase uh, charging socket we have the charging socket here so this is the three phase charging socket that then activates the number of chargers it needs so one or two chargers so each is three kilowatt and if using the three phase electric current then you can use six kilowatts for charging your car okay so this is the mount for the electric motor this is the electric motor connected with adapter plate and coupling with the original clutch so it has the clutch and everything as before and it can change gears using the clutch the same as before so it drives almost the same as the gas or petrol motor that you had previously inside only it's now full electric uh, this is DC DC converter so it's like an alternator and it charges your 12 volt battery and things like headlights and all other things you, see, you have in the car like uh, radio and so on uh, this is the power distribution box, so this is high voltage power distribution box. And now I will rotate a little bit on this side. So this is the DC heater. Cold water comes inside and then hot water goes outside to the cabin and you uh, can control it by using the existing uh, installation of the heating in your vehicle. So this only activates the DC heater and DC heater maintains the temperature of the water so it can uh, heat your cabin. So this is 2.7 kilowatt heater that is used for heating during the winter. Down is the water pump, not visible here, that circulates this water. So hot water going out, cold water returning going to the pump, from the pump returning back inside the heater and again circulating. This is just for refilling and keeping the water level at the same level and also using as expansion chamber. Uh, here we have 12 volt power distribution box, so 12 volt wiring is done here. So for like all DC DC converters and things like that we have all connected here. This is the AC to DC charger, so it charges the 12 volt battery at the same time it's charging the big battery that is in the trunk. This is inverter, so it converts DC power to AC power and using three phase to power this motor with 30 kilowatt peak power. It has air cooling system because this is sufficient for this vehicle. I will go a little bit inside of the vehicle. And inside of the vehicle not not many things were changed. Here we have a safe switch. So this disconnects the high voltage. This is power steering adjustment so you can have it light power steering or high power steering. So in the city you can increase the power steering to be lighter and on the highways you can reduce it so it's heavier on the 
steering wheel so this is uh, like in the sports car the same adjustment and here we have uh, heating in meter so you activate it by pressing this button and it activates the heating next is the battery this is the battery status meter and it shows the current usage of the battery so currently only using for the BMS powering and this is the amps that's using now if we press it it activates and this is the amp hours remaining in the battery this is the voltage of the battery so almost 100 volts and this is the percentage remaining of the battery also each of these lines represent 10 percent of the battery so currently the battery is full here nothing much changed as we said you control the heating using the fans original you just activate by using this button heating on or off one more thing we had added here is the next to the gear shifter as we said we have clutch and you can change gears but for the reverse you don't need to use reverse gear because it's uh, electric motor is too much powerful for the reverse gear so it's better to use second or third big gear to go in uh, in reverse so for example you are in the second or the third gear or even in the fourth gear you can be to go in reverse you just switch to reverse then you go in reverse the same as you go in forward gear so you can be in the second or the third gear and then motor can spin in backwards see this is electric motor you can choose direction of the spinning of the motor so this is simple the motor doesn't know which is forward which is backwards in fact it knows but uh, you know the, it's the same it can go in any direction so this is much more easier to drive in, in the reverse because with too much power uh, the car is let's say too much powerful and uh, it's too sensitive you know when you press accelerator it's just like flies so it's not easy for parking when using reverse gear so this is a better option to use it for forward or the reverse so keep it in second when parking or the third gear it's no problem cars can start even in the fourth gear or fifth gear but better to use it for reverse gear